At World Remit, we understand what the journey is about, how it can sometimes take a little distance to bring us a little closer together. With ways to save more when you send more, World Remit is here for you, so you can be there for them. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining. So we are live on Facebook now and I'll be tagging you guys, okay? All right, thank you very much, everybody, for joining us today. Today, our topic is about women. We say women talk because we all know that women, we have the power. We went, women, we bring forth life, regardless of what anybody says. I, I, you know, today I had a phrase and I was so excited with that phrase. And I was happy because we are actually talking about the same thing that I had today is about women. He said that women, if you give women, if you give women one thing, one pound, they will not give it to you back as one pound. They will multiply it and give it when they're giving it back. So someone said, if you give a woman a sperm, she will not give you the sperm back, but she will multiply the sperm and give you children. So whatever you give women, if you give a woman a house, she's going to multiply that house and make it a home. And we, we know that there's a difference between a home and a house. And a woman will make it into a home, not just a house. But if you also give a woman problem, she's going to multiply that problem. And when she dishes back, she dishes that problem back he won't be able to cope with it. So now there's so many people we have just these seconds we joined. We have 11 people watching already. And if we have any questions as well, we're going to ask. And now today I'm, I'm here with some beautiful and powerful women, not just beautiful, but also very, very powerful women. And I have with me Miriam. I have Miriam with me. She's also going to introduce herself. So I have Miriam. I also have Carol with me today very powerful women actually she's destiny king wow i love that and uh, we also have florence florence with us here as well she has an organization in kenya very powerful women and we also have noria she said i should call her noria but my spirit feels like na 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 she's pastor noria so I'll call her pastor noria so guys we have pasta in the house so you need to behave yourselves Okay, and we also have different top with different topics we're talking about today. So, guys, we're talking about women. Today is about women. Okay, and women, we have the power. We are powerful. We are strong, regardless of what we go through. But we always carry a smile on our face. Is it a fake smile? Is it a real smile? Should we actually go around with carrying fake smiles? I don't know. I am not. I'm not the uh, the expert in this, but we have experts here today. So we're going to talk about sex today. We're also going to talk about body politics. I would love to hear that body body politics. Wow. We are also going to talk about lifestyle of maturity, and we're also going to talk about those who are eager and running to enter into marriage. Before you enter into marriage, guys, you have to hear this. Okay, so today we have four different topics and we have four powerful women with us today as well. So thank you very much, everybody who is just coming in. Oh, it's a woman thing. Sorry, I'm leaving. <laughs> Someone's saying they're leaving. No, it's not a woman thing. In fact, if you, are, you, you have a sister, you have a mother, we, I'm sure everybody does. So if you have a sister or you have a mother, guys, stay in. Do not leave this, this um, forum today. Okay, so thank you very much, everybody. So I'm just going to allow you guys to unmute yourselves and introduce yourself properly. So I'm going to start with Miriam, please. Thank you, Miriam. Okay, good evening, everyone. Uh, my name is, is Miriam Musila. As Lydia has mentioned, um, I'm a chef by profession, but uh, in uh, doing a master's in uh, international hospitality and tourism. Um, I don't know whether I should go further because I'm the one who is going to talk about sex, but maybe I'll leave that for later. But I currently live in the UK. I've been in the UK for 26 years. 
And I thought uh, this is a great idea for us to meet and talk and discuss as women. Thank you. Thank you very much. That was short and nice. I was not expecting that. I thought she's going to go on forever, but thank God for that. <laughs> okay, next we, we have Florence Odiambo. So Florence, all the way from Kenya, please, if you can introduce yourself. Thank you. Uh, thank you, guys. My name is Florence Odiambo uh, in, from Kenya. Actually live in uh, Madare. We, we usually know it as uh, deprived areas. So uh, I'm part of Face of Girls Foundation. And uh, uh, today we're going to talk more. Maybe you'll get to know what Face of Girls Foundation are doing. I'm a feminist and activist and everything. Thank you very much, Florence. Thank you. They always say that those politicians in Kenya, if you give them a microphone, they don't stop. But you stopped. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay, now we are going to go to Carol, please. Carol. Oh, hi, uh, my name is Carol. I live in the UK. I'm a mother of two. And uh, I'm not working right now, but I have a degree in counseling. And um, yeah, I'm just like, at the moment I'm a full-time mother, but yeah, I'm ready to talk about, though, um, to prepare the ladies, the girls that are looking for marriage, that want to enter into marriage and actually don't know exactly how to get in there or they're rushing into it. So girls, let's, let's get on. Hmm. So let's talk. It's called Let's Talk. Let's, let's talk, talk about, about it. it. <laughs> Thank you very much, Carol. And I had to leave pasta for last because we have the pasta in the house. So pasta Noriet, please. And mute yourself, pasta. Thank you. Pastor, we can't hear you. Unmute yourself, please. Yeah, sorry about it. that. Yeah, that's good funny. evening. Nice to be on this forum. My name is Pastor Norit Mugambi. I'm just I'm making the gift, but I like being called Norit. I am a mother of five, a grandmother of seven. I live in the UK. God is good. Nice to All be here. Yeah. All the time. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah. Wow. Is that really a pastor? They say once a pastor goes on their pulpit, <laughs> everybody's looking at the time. What, what time are we going to go home? But the blessings are sweet, so they forget the time. So, Pastor, thank you so much. And I'm mm -hmm. sure today we're going to be totally, totally blessed. Thank you so much. Okay. Now we're going to enter into this covenant of women. I love this. But men, you can stay because, like I say, men, anything that benefits a woman benefits a man. Because there's a saying that in, behind every successful man, there is a woman. They did not say before be, be, uh, be, uh, every successful woman, there's a man. No, no, no. They said every behind every successful man, there's a woman. So it's going to be so beneficiary for you as a man to stay here and listen. So when you get a wife, or if you have a wife already, you'll know how to treat them. You know how to train. They say, walk carefully. You will not be walking carefully because you know what to do. You'll just walk, just walk anyhow. Because you're like, I know you. I know how to handle you. I know how to deal with you, okay? And they also say that if you train one man, if you train a man, you only train one man. But if you train a woman, you train the whole nation. I did not say those words, man. So don't start looking for stones to stone me. I did not say those words. I'm just saying the words that was said by the, the men who had wisdom. Men who had wisdom. And it's men who actually said it. So they knew what they were talking about. So now we're going to enter into, I love this topic of body politics. Because this is something that I really, really want to know more about. So I'll, I'll start with Florence. Florence, can you just enlighten us a little bit about this body politics? politics. Mm. Thank you, Florence. <laughs> Thank you very much, Lydia. Thank you. Uh, I hope you guys can hear me. Yes, so now we when can. you talk of body politics, body politics as women, uh, one thing we discover, like uh, we were doing a certain research and we discover that we women, we don't know our body that much or that mm. well. So uh, you'll find out that uh, most of women just know that I have boobs, I have vagina, I have this and that is just it. And you don't know, like uh, if you, you, you have that uh, 
like you have a right to that body of viewers that's why you call it body politics because at mm. the end of the day you'll find out that most of women uh let's say uh not not only in kenya but all over the world like uh we usually advocate for our first value is our sisterhood which is not there and now if you come to ask somebody like uh what is your body she'll tell you that me i just know my body to be my body so when we talk of body, body politics uh, at first we did a research and we come up with a, an idea that uh as a woman as a woman do i know the right of my body like uh let's say we have so many things on going gender-based violence we have the sex topics we have everything do you do you know the right time to have sex do you know you can request a sex from a man which again we come to find out that most women don't do that they, they all they know is that they need to be submissive and everything that's why we come up with the name body politics wow <laughs> can you hear me well yes we can <laughs> go on okay so personally i felt so sad when i discovered that uh, most of us women uh we didn't know that much about our body and by that during let me say let me just use an example during this pandemic period we discovered that a lot of young girls were going were getting into like a uh, sex and they, they did not know what they were getting in there so you will find out that uh, let's say in madare slam for the no madare uh, we had a test of uh, 11 years old girl who when he was involved in sex and didn't know how and why but to her okay, florence was, florence yeah. sorry you're breaking up yeah. you're you're kind of breaking oh. up if you can maybe mute yourself and unmute yourself again and uh but when you're doing that let's let's say so what i'm getting from florence actually is the fact that as women we need to respect our bodies we need to respect our bodies but most of the time we don't so that's why like i know she was talking about an 11 year old but she'll come back to that but if they teach us how to respect and value our bodies not just me not just to respect and value lydia that's not good enough but to respect and value lydia's body everything about me from whatever i have and that's why we um, mo most of the time, if there's no advice or there's no topics like this, it's, it, you find a, a, a lady, like you said, 11 year old, easily giving out her body because she doesn't value and respect her body parts. Yeah, wow, interesting. So just before you continue, Carol, what would you, li what would you like to add on that? We lost Miriam, I don't know where she's gone to. We call this technology of these days, our normal norm, but it's not really normal because if it was normal, Miriam would be here because she'll know how to use it. So it's not normal yet, we're trying to get, to get it right. So Carol, what would, you, what would you like to add on to or even enlighten him a little bit more from what Flores just spoke about, the body politics? Body politics, actually I'm also looking forward to, to hearing more from her because it looks like she's so deep into it. Yes. And she can enlighten us a lot more, mm -hmm. but... Um, what I can say is, is I mean, in in um, in relation to what she just said about respect, I mean, she talked spoke about the vagina thing, mm -hmm. and I don't know how much she's going to come into it about it, but it's recognizing that you're a woman, mm -hmm. you know, and how you are using your uh, womanhood, I yes. should say, you know, using your womanhood is not in a way that you, if you're a woman, yes, it's a gift to be a woman. It's a private part. They should not just leave it or give it just hang around with every man to make sure that they spoil the the the, the sweetness in you if you know what yeah. i mean and then um, yeah. just to protect your womanhood you yes. know protect your i don't know how she want to tell me like but she termed it as a vagina right that's because you're in a straight talk right now so you yes, protect yes. it not to make sure because as a woman this is a part that's brings respect to your to your um to your being a woman mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and a lot of women especially in the lockdown we've seen a lot of things that have happened to women yeah women are even not only that even nowadays women are selling their bodies mm -hmm. and the reason why they're selling their bodies because that particular part has been has not been respected yes yes you know yes. it's not given respect you know, it should go back into my topic of marriage when I talk mm. about that. So yes. I'll leave it to that until I hear from her again. Okay. I, I like the fact that everything intertwines together anyway, because it's about the body, it's about the vagina, it's about the breast, it's about the sex, it's about the maturity, lifestyle of maturity, it's about marriage. So it's about everything to do with women. And I think 
as women, I think these are topics that they should teach us when we are young, not when we are older, when we are younger, because it's when you teach a child when they're young. In, 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 in Swahili, I'll probably try and say it in English as well, but you know, English is not my language, so I always get it wrong. They say, Samaki mkunje akiwa mbichi. So that means that a fish, what? <laughs> How can you say that in English? Um, a fish, if you have a fish and you want it to, to bend, right? You want it to bend, you, you bend it when it's still fresh. Because when it's now dry and you try to bend it, you break it. So these topics are things that I think we need to teach our children when they are younger. So by the time they are older, they know exactly how much their body is worth. So thank you very much, That's Florence. Right. Uh, let me let me come back to you and see if your if we can now hear you. Okay, can you hear me now? Yes, yes. Yeah. Yes. Okay. Now there are some things that uh, we all have is that uh, women we all are victims of the same mm. kind of oppressions, and that. Uh, the, patriarchy, uh, the patriarchy system operates in the similar ways across the national borders to neglect the history. As in, they have to repeat itself. That's why sometimes I usually say I fight pat patriarchals. Because at the end of the day, these men know knows that we are women. But at some point, you'll find out that they take advantage of us women, knowing that we don't know what our rights are mm -hmm. and what we stand for as a woman. Uh, most of the time, you'll find out that, uh, let me use an, uh, mother as an, uh, an example. You'll find out that uh, this, this is a certain woman who's being violated with a man each and every now. And as women, we don't know that me being in my relationship or rather being a, a married woman, I can be raped with my own husband. Mm -hmm. So that is something, again, we came to talk about, uh, which is part of that body politic. So you'll come to find out that during that research, we were, doing a, uh, we were talking about mistress, we were talking about slay queens, we're talking about teen moms, we're talking about single ladies, we're talking about baosters, we're talking about also the bartenders. Those are baos, yeah, baosters. So uh, most of us, uh, you'll find out that uh, be it that you are a woman, this body is yours. And uh, sometimes I usually tell men that, do you know, you have a, you have, you, sometimes you need to ask a permission uh, from that woman on how to own a place to beat her because at the end of the day this is my body i have every right to tell you boss you can't beat me on my head you have to beat me on my hands if that is necessary but again i don't advocate for men beating women so uh body politics uh, has has it all it has a sex it has a relationship it has a marriage thing it has everything in general and those are the things women are suffering or facing each and every day every time at their homes and they're not talking about it so it's high time us as women, we come together and start talking about this and uh, showing, uh, talking to our girls as well that they're supposed to know their rights. They're supposed to know that uh, this is my body. I'm not supposed to be touched anywhere. In Kiswahili, we usually say kudarwa. Is it even right? Because I usually feel that is a, a sexual harassment. Because mm. you don't have a right to touch my boobs without my mm. permission. But unless yeah. I, say, I say, boss, you can do this. You know, and that is something people didn't get to understand. So during our research, also we we also find out that some women, uh, like those mistresses, they were like, um, yeah, "I'm having a man simply because I want to be satisfied in bed and everything." That is just it. Which that was another topic. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Thank you very much. Wow, body politics. Wow, that is awesome. Yeah, like I said, this is something that we need to teach our children. In fact, from today, I'll sit down with my girls. This body politics from today is a topic added on to whatever we talk about. So but this has to come how up. how old they are. It is. That My is so daughter powerful. is only six, seven, mm -hmm. actually. Mm -hmm. And I, I actually, like yesterday, I was looking at her and I'm thinking, when will I ever start this topic on her? I was yes. just looking, I'm thinking, God, please help me because I don't know. Before the school chips in, mm -hmm. I need to do, play my part. Yes, Carol, exactly. You know? I Carol. need to lay a foundation. Mm. Carol. Can, yes, I tell you, can I tell you something? Yes, can you please. just start a sex topic in your house with that girl and then you'll get to know more than, that you'll be shocked to know that this, this girl knows more about sex than you do know, you do. Because I was shocked personally, I deal with girls in slum. And then we ask about what is sex. And then people are like, uh, sex in kufanywa. And I'm like, what is kufanywa? You know, and that is a six years old girl telling you. So, so 
personally, don't don't be scared or afraid of how to start. It all starts with you. Just start as a topic. Uh, what is this? Thing? And then you get to know from her before you even tell her. So from the right. from whatever until you get from that uh, girl, that is the time now you'll get to know how to start or how to go about it. Because right. the more you keep quiet, the more she's practicing it. Mm. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much, Florence, for that. And also those people who are watching on Facebook, please, can you share it to other, other platforms as well? Share it to your friends, share it so everybody can hear about this topic today. We're talking about women. And if you have anything to say, I can actually see Matasio. Matasio, anytime I'm doing a show and I see him, I start panicking because he, he can ask you some very deep questions. So Matasio, bring your questions today. We have experts women here who are experts and they can actually answer any question not to me to them so and please share it please share so let's have so many people come and learn it's not just about women but it's about how to even deal with the woman and if you have a sister a mother a, a daughter this is a good platform today okay so i'll go to um to pastor 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 noriet pastor noriet please can you uh, just enlighten us more about the lifestyle of maturity in women, please? Wow, I'm much enjoying. You know what? I've been a pastor so, not sorry, many years. Sorry, before you start, before you start, mm -hmm. you start uh, Lydia, my yeah. you keep on seeing me going out. People are, are asking me, you've not um, linked it on my Facebook, so people want to watch, but it looks like there's no link. Oh. I have, I have actually. Um, tagged you already you need on the wall not on the on the inst on the because i can't you. move to I've on tagged my facebook because so, yes a lot I've of tagged, people are asking okay. i've tagged you right. i've tagged you on your facebook i've tagged every single one of you so all you can do mm. is put it on your facebook i've tagged you all Let no, me. I'm, I'm asking because we are here now we don't want to leave the zoom or distract it I think, is there a way that you can just put it on our Facebook that we don't need to leave the Zoom because people are keep on asking and it's mm. distracting the Zoom. Okay, let me try that. Okay, okay. I'll Thank do that you. now. Thank you very much. Yes, Pastor Noriet. Yes, I'm so privileged to hear such a topic because as a pastor, I'll tell you something which the church has been running away from mm -hmm. is sex. That's mm -hmm. true. Mm -hmm. They don't want Pastor. to talk about sex. Sure. I'm talking mm. as a pastor. That's true. And anytime you talked about it, it's something we all love, but we don't want to talk about it. Mm -hmm. I don't know how you can want to do it and you don't want to talk about it. Mm. And that's why I had a few of crews. That's why I didn't want to be called pastor all the time because people think, and ah, but there is a good news about me. I am out of religion because religion mm. is a complicity which made me where I am because. When I grew up, I grew up as a Muslim where they tell you you marry when you are virgin mm -hmm. and they tell you don't sleep with a man, but they don't tell you the reason. Mm. They don't tell you don't go with a man because this, that, you are this. That's why I'm mm. talking about maturity. If what I know now, I knew it then, what happened to me wouldn't have happened. Mm. We knew that you don't say no to a man. Mm -hmm. We used to visit a boyfriend mm. and you sit on the chair in his room. I started this game early. I will not mm. fear to confess this. Mm. Yes, and pastor. it was wrong. Mm. It was wrong and I don't want anybody who will hear my voice to go where I went. Whether yeah. you were looking for marriage, whether you were a young girl, I started it wrong. Mm. And right. I confessed it to my God. It mm. took me through mm. many. But I know the reason. The reason was also my mom started it wrong mm. because right. there was no life. Yes. Life is in love. We talked mm -hmm. about love, children not putting their bodies, you know, yeah. respect and giving. It's love. If you don't yeah. love you, you yes. don't love me. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. That's right. Absolutely. Only condition, which mm -hmm. is strong love. So my mom was conditioned. She was abused in her own way. So mm -hmm. now it comes to me, I'm also conditioned. So now I walk in the same foot. I condition mm -hmm. my children. On yes. the same age I gave birth on, is the mm -hmm. same age my firstborn gave birth on. Mm. 
Mm. And it hurt mm. me, but I prayed. That time I was born again. I left something behind. Mm. When I was 15, 16, 15, I started moving about with a boyfriend. Yes. And I thought it was a privilege. He was in the university 20 something years. I was only 15. Mm. I become pregnant. I didn't know he didn't love me. I thought that is love. That was not love. That was lust. It was emotion. Mm. Mm -hmm. We need life. Life is in love. Life yes. is in the blood. Mm -hmm. The blood is only thing which gives life. Without the blood, we all die. So now yes. I saw that I disconnected myself mm. long ago, but I want to tell somebody today, please mm. don't. And mm. if you have where you were right there, you can get in. Mm, 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 can reverse mm. it. You can get back to life. It's not religion. It's life. Mm. God loved us and he knew there would be sex, but he needed maturity. Yes. Yeah. No wonder the devil sneaked in. He needed maturity for all of us. But mm. because we, instead of maturing into life, we matured into knowledge. So now we all walk with knowledge. I've been to places where we, we teach each other, oh, if you do this, you, you all know you, I'm from Uganda originally, but lived in Kenya since 16 years. Mm. And uh, they say Ugandans have all these things. They know it all. No, if we know it all, many are there, divorced, separated, you know. It's no knowledge. This is you mm. loving you. Mm. But mm -hmm. we didn't go to the source of love. Can I end yes. there maybe? Oh, hey, hey. I like that. I like what you said. What you just ended with it, that source of life. Source. You know, if you, they always say that if you tap to the source, the source that gives life, that is Christ. That is the source that gives, gives yes. life. But like so you now, said, if you tap to the source and because of lack of advice, that's why I said earlier that these topics, they're supposed to teach our children when they're younger mm -hmm. because we did not, they did not teach us this earlier. You think, oh, having a boyfriend because everybody has a boyfriend mm -hmm. and those boys, they are very smart. They are very smart because they know exactly what they want. When I come in there, he came yes. in and he loved me so much that yes. he used to wash my pants. I go home with his dinner <coughs> wears. Mm -hmm. And you know, I didn't know it. We, the, I mean, I thought that's marriage. Yes. yes. I knew he'll finish university, he'll marry me. So here mm -hmm. comes a mistake. I got pregnant. Yes. When I told him, this is the word he told me, I've never forgotten it. It's like yesterday. He said, oh. I said, oh my God, I thought you love me in my heart. I was only mm. 16, going to 16 now. And I'm thinking, wait a minute. What am I going to say? I'm ashamed mm. of myself. It's as if I'm the mistake. I'm yes. the one who did a mistake. Yes. But I'm young and you know you are older than me. There was no love from him. It was a conditional love. Mm. Come in, I want to sleep with you. So is mm -hmm. you, you condition your husband because yes. I'm here, you are sleeping with me. You need to do the, there's no love. That's no maturity. Mm. That's why mm. marriages are breaking. Mm. And as I speak, I have still broken away from my marriage mm. for five years now. Mm. But in me, because of maturity, I love it where I am. Yes. Because now I am maturing, mm. that I'm learning more. I'm mm. learning to endure, to forgive, to mm. learn where I went wrong and I don't put a wrong on another. We yes. like choosing one another in marriages or in relationships, mm. which mm. is wrong. So yes. now that's where it went wrong. And they will you will come to, i'll come to a place where now my daughter comes in and mm. today see what god has done in my life he has retrieved me because of the source i went to. yes the source i jumped of out of church completely mm. and i started looking for this god yes his love mm. and i found him and i want somebody to share with me that there is a god who is yes. love who yes. can build you back mm to that very mm. place where he wanted mm. you and you start moving from glory to glory with all your family. May yes. God bless you as we continue. Oh, thank you. Thank, you. thank you so thank much, you, Pastor. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mm. Wow. Um, Miriam, do you want to add anything onto what Pastor Noriet was talking about? That was so powerful, to be yeah. honest. Yeah. Good, good evening. Sorry, I've been, I've been on and on. People are distracting me. A lot of people... When I told friends, when I told people about this topic, they wanted to join in. So pardon me for that. It's okay. Yeah. Um, 
I was motivated by one of my friend Anthony Motaki to talk about this thing about um about about sex. Mm. My topic here is talk about sex, and I know sex is not is not a, a thing that people talk about a lot. Yes. But the th but the thing is that what I can tell people that it is, I wrote on one of the marriage groups in uh, on my Facebook, and I, that that post I wrote it long time love is not sex and the mm. comments i got believe me is almost i think a thousand or more and but you'll find people don't understand what sex is people think when you sleep with someone today that 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 is sex people don't know the difference between sex uh, love infatuation and lust and okay. I, I i spoke to i, I spoke to, to 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 lydia and i said lydia let us let us join this thing and, and talk to women and talk to women. And I'll bring about women who are powerful. Pastor Norit is from Uganda. Uh, uh, Kara is from Uganda, where they are taught about sex. Hmm. Well, in Kenya, most people are not oh, taught, yeah. but they always say, from my tribe, I'm from a tribe called the Kamba, they, that we are powerful in Kenya, but we were not taught. So um, sex, people have mis mis misused sex. And, and like Florence said, the body, the uh, the body about um, I'm I'm trying to use that word like Lydia. Is it body politics? People yeah, are not understanding, are not understanding themselves because when you when you come, you find like these young ones, the, these young ones they are they are they are being they are being um used used and when somebody is touched there as a child, they think that is love and they grow up thinking you know what, this man is love, like what Pastor Noria testified. Because most, most girls, that is an area that is a no-own zone, but people are, 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 are using that part, especially men who have become perverts and crazy. They are using that, mm. part, that part now to the, to the small children. And then they, it ruins their life. And when they grow up, they don't understand themselves. That's why you're finding people are getting married now. And as they are getting married, you find they don't understand. Their husband is trying to touch them. They don't want to be touched. Their husband is telling them this and that they don't want. And, and, and vice versa. You find now even the gay thing is happening, lesbian. So you find there's a lot lost in the society, especially in this area of sex. And a lot of people are avoiding the talk. But if you look at this talk, even if we are in church, I'm a born again Christian, and even if we are in church, Church has lost it because of this topic. The, the fathers, the pastors in the pulpit, all of them, they are just joining together with the choir singers and everybody. And they've lost it because why? They were not taught. That's true. I like, it, I like it the way in Uganda people are taught about this topic. I like the way in other, uh, uh, maybe even Tanzania, some tribes and all that. But if people were being taught this topic and how to deal with a man, divorces would not be now. Separations will not be. People would be still happy. Most people, even when they are having children, if I'm telling you I have two children, a 21 year old and a six year old, I'm telling you when I, I, I had my daughter, I thought, oh, love, nothing. That is where I learned. It wasn't love, it was a one night stand. And I'll say it again one night stand. One night stand means you go sleep with somebody and then tomorrow you wake up. Women, we think that you're in love. And after that, you start getting hurt. The man starts going away and you're thinking they, they broke my heart and left me. No, you did not understand. They, 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 there was no understanding of, of, of where these things started. So we need to understand what sex is about. And I don't know whether, Lydia, I should continue with continue talking. No, it's you. okay. We'll come back to that. We'll come back no to problem. that. You, you and, join uh, somebody else. Yeah. yeah, we'll come back to that. And I have uh, somebody says, we need, I'm just reading now, so I'm just few comments. Somebody said, we need to ensure that both our daughters and sons know their self-worth. Consent is another word we need to learn about. I've been having conversations with many people back home in Uganda, this woman is from Uganda, about the hike in teenage pregnancy during this lockdown. I don't even think in Uganda can beat Kenya. Kenya is worse, but anyway, having conversations about sex, and healthy relationship across generation is crucial. And then somebody else again from Uganda said, um, in Uganda, 
In Uganda, not many tribes teach children about sex at all. It's only in Buganda, I, I think, where aunties play a big role in talking to girls, but nobody talks to boys, to the boys at all. Boys should be raised to have respect for women. And I think that when it comes to boys is 100% correct. Boys, <laughs> sorry, boys should be taught because the thing is, sometimes we concentrate so much on the girls. They, get, they say um, girl child and we forget the boy child. So when we, even when we're talking about sex, when you're talking about domestic violence, we always talk about women and we forget that. If we don't train the men as well or the boys, they will, it, it will still be the same because they will still come up and disrespect the women. But if we teach the boys as well how to respect the girls, then they will know that this, this vagina is not something you just go, you want it because I've been taught that it's something that I have to respect. But they don't respect it because we don't respect it either. So now the teaching is across the board. Both of us need to know the women, the men, the girls, the boys, all of us have to know it because I heard what Florence said. And I know what this lady is saying as well from Uganda that um, children are getting, girls are getting pregnant. In Kenya, it's worse because I help a school in, in Kibera. In my school that I help, two girls are pregnant already. And that broke my heart. And I was like, wow, how? But again, we are not taught how to respect our bodies, how to value our bodies. Because if somebody gives you this bottle and tells you the value of this bottle, you will not give it away. But if they don't tell you the value, they just give it to you. When somebody asks you, you just give it because you don't know the value of it. Wow. Okay. So um, I'm just going to ask, oh, Carol, Florence is, she said, I, okay. Wow, we're in Kenya, so don't worry. Her lights disappeared a little bit. Napa, Napa is in Nigeria, but Napa took her lights for now. So Carol, I would like you, if there's anything you want to add about what Miriam said. Right, yeah, I would like to say that, I mean, like she said, people are not told properly, when, I mean, what is sex? Sex is not love. And that is, that's the truth. A lot of um, women or girls are falling for these men because the men are after sex they put them to bed and they tell them oh i love you so much and they get pregnant and they walk away from them to me that is not love if they walk away from me it's not love i was working i used to work in an abortion clinic and i'm telling you we we used to have 32 abortions a day and that is seven days a week hmm. I'm telling you, that is only in one branch. And the company I was working for had 42 branches. So these, all these people have nightstands or they're, they're sleeping with men that are telling them they love them. Mm. Okay, now women, we are not, we are falling for that sex is not love. So we miss sex, men, sex from love. That's the yes. mistake we do. Yeah. Yes. Mm. This, I mean, if you really, if someone loves you, in my own understanding, if someone loves you, they should not even sleep with you until they really do something or they visit your parents. They have to to show that they really love you. Mm, mm. Love, you know, not to take you to bed. To me, if someone say to you, like, you know, meet you today, tomorrow, they put you to bed. They are not after your love. They're yeah. after your body. Mm -hmm, and this mm -hmm. is where I was going to talk about marriage, going, coming to getting, getting into marriage. Girls okay. that are getting ready to get married. So before you, know, you get into a... marriage, uh, sorry, yeah. Carol, before you get into marriage, I want to first of all, because this is actually, again, geared to what you're going to talk about. But yeah. before you talk about marriage, I would like you to just answer a question. <laughs> Somebody said, I think it's a, it's a boy or a man, a man yeah. maybe. And they said, hello there. Hello there. Thank you for the conversation. Is it a necessity to marry a lady, one impregnated, not out of love? Did you understand or should I read it again? Yeah, read it again. He said, hello there. Thank you for the conversation. Is it a necessity to marry a lady? A lady, and then I think one, you know, sometimes when we write, the phones have their own mind. But I said, is there a necessity to, to marry a lady you've impregnated out, not out of love? 
So I think what he's trying to say is probably if a woman is pregnant, if you've, mm -hmm. you've made a woman pregnant, but you mm -hmm. don't love them, is it necessary for you to marry them? If I'm getting mm -hmm. that question right. Um, if you don't love them, you can't marry them. You cannot marry them because definitely it's not going to work out. Yeah. You yeah. know, you have to accept that it's, it's, it's a night stand, whatever, you, whatever happens. Mm -hmm. Look after your child, but you can't marry someone you don't love. That's true. You can't That's love someone. Hard. Otherwise, you're going to torture them. That's why you see husbands planning to kill their wives. You see domestic violence coming in because there was no love initially. Yeah, because it was it was um, it was a pushed because somebody's pregnant now you have to marry them. Yeah, you have to marry them. That is where yeah, that's where you see premature death in a marriage. That mm -hmm. is where you hear, oh, husband killed the wife. This happened. That happened because there was no love. Mm. There was something that happened. Yes, there was a night stand. There was lust between the two of them. They went to bed together, but there was no love. And then if you push them to marry each other, you're pushing them into violence. You're pushing them into their grave. Okay, so before Can I you ask continue, a question, yeah, sorry, no read, no read, the question is please. on that very person. The thing is, he must have played the wrong part. And sometimes if you make your bed, you sleep in it mm -hmm. because you went to somebody, maybe you've been moving about with them for six months or one year. They assume that this is a long term relationship. relationship. Mm -hmm. And being a shy African woman, they don't even query, do I get pregnant even to discuss it with a, a husband that or do we need a baby or the husband asking, we have a baby, can we have a baby? But let me put it this way. Even though after I knew where you have to marry a man to tell you to have a baby, now you don't just get babies. There is still a wrong here that a man can tell you he wants a baby, but still after that baby, he still wants to walk out of the relationship. Mm -hmm. We need a strong bonding here, which we should use for people to go in a relationship of which ends up in a marital way that not that I said it in the public or in a registrar or in whatever you said was a vow. Even when you were, nobody was there. What was there was my agreement with you. The heart have sold out to you. Hmm. Don't break it. Hmm. Don't put it in pieces. Put hmm. it in your head too as that person. If hmm. men can think of us the way they would be wanted to be treated, that's the love affair now, the maturity. Hmm. That what if it was me? I told this girl to go because I don't want to marry her because the pregnancy. But you have been telling her much. You love her all along. You would have even told her, don't fall pregnant here because we don't know how far we are reaching. Then mm. she chooses to continue sleeping with you, sleeping with you for sex, knowing very well it's sex. It's, we are satisfy each other. Otherwise, that's a risk he took. I don't know what he's going to do. It will always be on his heart or in his mind that he did wrong. So what is he going to do about it? I'm also asking him. Yeah, I think- Maybe, um, can, I answer, can I also put a, 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 a add on that? Yes. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, Pastor Noriet said something that um, a man will tell you that they, 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 you have a child and they will marry you or what. I'm an, I'm an example. My last child, it was the same scenario. And uh, the person said, oh, I'll marry you, I'll, we'll go home, blah, blah, blah. It never happened. And it took me to so much regrets. So I think men need to stop lying to themselves or women as well. I won't put only men that you need to, I think there's a connection where Carol was saying, I know most people don't want to abstain from me from sex until they are married, but you need to be careful as well. And you need to be very careful because the thing is that if you don't abstain from this, you'll end up getting hurt more. Hmm. If the person is undecided, and the, and this and the person wants to just have to to have a ride and if maybe they were hurt and they are using you as a as a they are using you as somebody to 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 to, to use that heartache some people come from heartache run into a relationship and that relationship is whereby you're finding a lot of children end up because they were never healed from the previous relationship so they end up damaging the next person and they go like that. And you find that is what society has become. 
-hmm. It is not, sex is not just an object for people to waste time on. Sex is something people need to value. And if I knew at the age of almost 50, it's, I would have learned and I would have learned a lot. I would have been married when I was pure and, and waited for the love of my life because mm. we, have, we are in a damaged society media. And it's the same thing I always tell my children. I say, sex is a gift from God for the married couples. The night you're getting married, that is the day God gives you that gift of sex. So once you're married, it's like the same thing Florence said, if you know your body, once you get married and you know your body, you know this is something that, this is my vagina, this is my boob, this is everything. Yes, you can give it freely once you are married. That is what I always tell my children. It's a gift from God. So sex is not a bad thing. Like some people say, oh, it's, it's not a bad thing. But it's only a bad thing when it's done, when it's not supposed to be done. When it's done to somebody out of, they don't want it and you think like rape or you're doing it to a little child or you do it when you know it's not supposed to be done. Then it's a very, very bad thing. But it's also a gift from, from God to the married couples. Florence had her hands up. Yes. Uh, maybe I wanted to add, uh, one thing we should know is that we women sometimes we usually think or think we know how men feel, you know? And that is where we go wrong at first. Because by the time we started thinking like these men are the kings, they need to make decision for us, they need to do for us this and this and this, that is where the problem also usually starts or begins, you know? Because me personally, I believe there's difference between sex and making love. We should yes. start with that. Yes. What is sex? Mm -hmm. What is making love? You know? Because yes. yes. sex, it's a one-time thingy. That's why sometimes we usually say you can have a fuckmate that is just a sex because mm -hmm. you wanted to please yourself. But do we know we, we, you can have a sex uh, and at the end of the day, are you, pl are, are you pleased with whatever you are doing? Yes. Did you get satisfied? Or you are just doing it to please somebody else? You mm. personally as a woman, did you achieve anything from it? Did you gain or did you enjoy? You know, so that is that, that is where you'll find out that most of people we go wrong or most of women we go wrong. I'm just there like, watch a tweet for Isha, you know, let me do this to please this fellow, which is not good at the same time. Uh, growing up as a girl, I usually say to myself, like, uh, there's no way a man will have to use me for their own benefit. Because at the end of the day, I usually believe uh, you need to talk to yourself first. You need to love yourself first. If you love yourself, then let others, well, other people love you after you loving yourself. But if you don't mm. love yourself, then that is the point whereby these people will take advantage of you and do for you anything they usually they want to do for you. Like, mm. for instance, you'll find a, a man talking of a woman and uh, the man will be like, you know, this woman doesn't, doesn't know how to do, to clean, the, uh, to, to do a duster or to clean the house. And I'm like, what do you mean to, to clean the house with a duster? Until the time I talk to one man and ask him, why do you usually say women do doesn't know how to do a duster? But we don't know how to clean our vagina. And that was a shocking to me. Like, why do you even guys take us for that? And yet you're the one, the same same people who are putting us in the same same situation. Then if you think they, if they think they know more, as men as well, may usually say, you have to talk, you have to tell us as well. Because if you tell me, it doesn't mean that now you have a power over me. But even if, in as much as sometimes they usually say that the Bible said that, uh, Men come first, as in their head. But at some point, what of those single mothers? Are they not the head of, of the family? They are, because at the end of the day, you've impregnated a girl. You left her behind. She ended up being a single mother. She raised that child by herself. What else do you expect? And then later you'll come, you'll sit somewhere and you'll be like, you know, this girl is my baby or this boy is my baby. I mean, seriously, it's a time we wake, we wake up and start thinking at uh, the right the direction and start stating the fact of the difference between making love and the difference be between making love and sex. By that, I think we'll go further. Mm. Thank you. Yeah, thank you very much. Now I'll go Can to I Carol. Can I just add a little bit, a little bit okay. of that? Because yeah, add it, Carol, then you carry on with, I want you to also enlighten us in entering into marriage. Right. So um, just, just like in our country, Uganda, pastor will testify to this we have what they call side chick. They're everywhere. <laughs> They're everywhere. <laughs> now, this so-called side chick is now becoming, they're taking over the wife's positions. Mm. Okay? They're taking over the wife's positions because women, when they get married, they stop becoming, they stop their act, being active in sex with their, mm. with their husbands, right? Mm. Mm. They desert them they reject them, they start concentrating on children. 
they start concentrating on their children. Mm. So the, the husbands be kind of feel left out, kind of feel lonely, mm. kind of feel like I need somebody, but I, I, this is not the woman I married mm. because they have changed. Now that is when the side chicks come in. When the side chicks come in, remember these girls, the side chicks, they are trained. They are trained. How they get their training is from different men that they do um, sleep with, right? So when they come and handle uh, someone's husband, it's, it starts with sex, right? It, then it goes into love making, and that is when women lose their marriages. So that is that one women need to change a lot when it comes to sex. A woman should submit to their husbands. A woman should be ready if you know you're into it and sex is one of the things why you're there. This is one of the things that will keep a man around. Like let's say it's 40% of what will keep a man around. So if you desert your man, a side chick will take over. I so think Florence, Florence, oh. is Florence is oh. disagreeing with that. Oh. <laughs> Carol. Carol. Florence is totally disagreeing oh. with that. Oh. I'm Carol. also disagreeing. I'm also disagreeing with it a bit because I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm agreeing with it. I'm talking I'm because I, no. I mean, I've, I was married you know, myself. Okay, okay. Let's let's let us let us let us give Carol a chance. Let Carol finish first before we all jump. Before we let jump, Carol finish. At least they, and I'm spicing you up now, right? Yeah, yes, yeah, so spicing anyway. us up. Well done. <laughs> so truly, really, and truly, you know. This, to me, I've really been observing it a lot. And I, I, I talk to a, a few married women and I tell them, listen, I think be very careful because you desert this man, sex is not involved anymore. Men complain. Or oh, my wife says she's tired or she's been looking after the children all day, blah, blah, blah. Then sex, the, 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 the marriage is looking, it's losing its flavor, right? There's no more intimacy. There is no more sex. So that's, that's when the, the man thinks, okay, she's not worth anymore. Maybe, you know, I, I don't, that is how they move away because sex is very important in a marriage. Okay, let me, let me, let me read some comments. <laughs> Florence, Florence is still shaking her head. Let me read some comments here first. People are blaming the lockdown for the rise in teenage pregnancy. But the fact is lockdown doesn't get girls pregnant. Men do. Whoa, I love that. I totally love that. And a lot of these girls are targeted and forced to or coerced into sex. It is sexual violence and we have to call it what it is. I totally 100% agree with you, Mary. And then somebody said poverty leads to marriages in Africa. And somebody said poverty, desperation is the main point in many cases. And the same person said 90% of marriages are scum. And, and then somebody also said, I'm just reading the, wow, this is long. Okay, this is totally long. I don't think I can read this. There is somebody who just wrote something really, really long. And due to increase of children's sexual assaults, we em employ that our children should be educated and enlightened from home. And it will be considered in, in concentrates Strengthens tries in school. Our children are dying in silence and experiencing. Kindly ask your children this question regularly. So there's so many things to ask your children regularly, it's from number one to number eleven, and then you also put answers there as well. So all of us we have uh, tagged you all on Facebook. So this guy he has said so many things, which I think is important, but it's long, so I won't be able to read it all. But I think all all your um. You guys should read it. And then somebody else say, why can't the men join the women in looking after the children? I thought marriage is a partnership, not one side. Yes. yes. And someone said sex and slavery. That is slaves. Most men will lie about their wives to get to get side chick. Okay. So it's not about yeah. sex. They will lie. And then I really don't agree with the blame of women for the bad behavior of men. I think it is completely wrong. The women are banded with all sorts of responsibilities. And then I think this one is now a man saying you are 100% right. Yes, the women. <laughs> I'm loving this. I'm loving this. Somebody say financial pressure is marriage kills the sex, the sex in marriage. Because of financial pressure, it kills sex in marriage. 
I hope you guys are listening because then you can answer, pick, pick, pick and answer this question. The men, the men need to help the women with the house chores so that women are not tired at sex time, mm -hmm. especially in the Western world where there are no maids. You're right. I agree with that as well. <laughs> Our men think they are born with the right to sleep around and blame their wives of, of neglecting them. They are selfish. Okay, there are so many things here to read, but I think I'm done with reading. <laughs> so, <laughs> oh God, this is so funny. First of all, men, what, what I'll just add on what Carol said, okay? The way I feel is a lot of, a lot of marriages, they don't fail because of sex or finances or anything, but because of fami familiar, familiarity. We familiarize ourselves so much with our partner, okay? So because, and, and we all know that yes, men are visual. Men want to see the, the, the woman I married. But trust me, that is the, the woman you married gave birth to a child. The woman you married pushed a child from her pussy. That, you cannot do that as a man. So you cannot sit there and tell me the wife I married, now she's fat. Now she's not doing this. Now she's not doing that because of what? Because you're selfish. Because if you want that marriage to stay the same, you need to help that woman into doing that. You cannot push that child. You suffer of little constipation. You're crying to go to the hospital. Do you know how it feels to push a child? You don't. And then I'm here, I'm cooking, I'm doing this. Then at night again, you want the sex. And then some men, they just want sex. There's no romance. There's no nothing. Mm. They just come, baby, I want. You want, what do you want? And mm. even if you give it to them, they will still go outside. That does not stop them from going outside. You give them from the front to the back, to the chandelier, to back, to jump, to them, to spaghetti style, whatever, they will still go. So I don't believe that it's because of sex men go out. They will go out regardless. You can give it to them the way you want. They will still go out. And I also disagree when men came and when man will come and say, that is not the wife I married. Who is the wife you married? How do you want to see her? She's not 20 anymore. She had a I mean, baby. Lydia, can I, ask, can I tell you men say can I, that? You can, know? I tell you, okay, okay. can I tell you something about this sex topic? Yeah. As we were talking about children and like um, Florence was talking about body politics, yeah? Mm -hmm. The thing about sex is very deep. Let's forget about the, child, the childhood now and now go to what we said about the women. You are saying that men are saying, this is not what I married, the, the, the body and all that. Let me tell you, there's, there's a fact in women, like for me, I cannot date a man with a stomach, full stop. Mm -hmm. There are people also who cannot date women who look forgo that. I'll say forgo that. Why? Women, especially this thing, women are really neglecting themselves. Why? One, looking after their child. Um, even um, they're not cleaning themselves well. They're not dressing well. And then the man goes and cheats. Like Carol was saying, the side chick. Now, men are, are, are visual. Visual. Yes, while women, we are emotional. Now, if, if for example, there are men out there, we are, we are in Zoom now here. I bet all, all the men in, who are out there are looking at us and most of them are salivating because we look nice. But if we come out of this Zoom and we, we shut the Zoom, maybe sometimes you'll wear a dress that a man will not like and it will bring problems. Because men are, women are coming to the Facebook and, and Instagram and all that and showing, ah, they are smart and all that, but yet there is even deeper, uh, deeper situation in this. Because you find what men are talking, we need to listen to what our husband is is mentioning all the time. You married that man, whether he's stupid or not. Women make a home. A home is made by a woman by prayer and by all these things. Mm -hmm. If he's telling you you're smelling down there, go wash. If he's telling you you're, you're not dressing well, go dress. That's if he's true. telling you, if, if he's telling mm -hmm. you that. If he's telling you that you don't have a, if you go buy the cheapest, wear the cheapest. If he's telling you your hair is unkempt, look nice. But just remember this, as you have done all the list he has said, let, let him now look at it and you he decides, oh, he has given you the list, you have done it. Yeah? And then when you have done your list, now you go into, into the, you go now into your, into your room and think, okay, I've done my list. Why is this man going on and on? then he has an issue with himself. And now from there is when you realize, were you married for love 
or for, for lust or for infatuation. Because most women, if you look at them, they were not married size 20. They were married size eight or 10, but they went becoming big. And ask them why they became big, because they want to just eat and they don't care. Friends are telling them, leave the man alone. Don't listen to what they are saying. Sex, men will go out there. Trust me, today they will leave you. Tomorrow they'll have somebody else. We are talking here about women. Let's forget about saying we are going to, uh, to talk about men because right now women are not becoming, they are not even being learning from their friends about sex. Women just go, they don't want their foreplay. Like you're saying the foreplay. If, a, if a, you have a man who doesn't know foreplay, like for me, I won't mention the tribe, but I say there's a tribe in Kenya I can never come across because they don't know foreplay. And I think, Lydia, you know, because you're smiling. So I can never come across that tribe because they don't know foreplay. And for me, I'm a camber. We want Florence, you know, it. you know it, Florence. Even, even me, I've said I don't want to see them. But the thing is that it's not about, if we go and continue and continue, this is going to be a broader topic and we are not going to stop here. We have to do it every at least two weeks or a month because it's we'll going to help a lot of women. Even I noticed when I went to Kenya for some talks, women are not putting roll on. Ah, talk about it. Lydia, they don't wash, they don't wash their bodies mm. twice a day. Kenya mm. is so sunny. Mm. You know, mm. even, even here, you go outside in the morning, come in the evening, you don't want to shower, you want to sleep uh -huh. in the clothes that you uh, a woman. and you want yes. your husband to touch you. Mm. You tell me. How can you, you come not blaming you? the man. Men don't smell like women. If a no, man okay. wants to, if a man wants to lick you down there, and they smell it, my friend, they will go and lick a prostitute. I finished. Okay, thank you. Can I come Let in, me please? Let me add on a little bit from, from um, Sister Miriam. Caro, Caro wants to add on. Sister Miriam, what she's saying is very true. That is what, part of my getting, my, my coming in my topic, right? It's because these women, how, why are you looking for a marriage? Why are you looking for a man if you don't want to clean yourself? Mm-hmm. You don't brush your hair. You don't comb your hair. You don't put roll-on under your armpits. This man comes next to you. Literally, you are really stinking. And you mm. keep saying, no, every man who comes to me runs away. Yes, they will run away. Brush okay. your teeth. Let me brush your teeth. Put in the mouth. They okay, want to yeah. kiss you. They will not get next to you because there is an odor that comes out of your mouth. <laughs> There's Women. a lot of things on sale, even in the country. <laughs> this is wait, something can I... that can stir a man onto the Pasta, wait. Pasta, uh, can I say something? Uh, can Pasta. I say something? Uh -huh. Pasta, let me read this first and then you come in. I think this, this conversation will carry it on next week. I think mm. I'll have to postpone my next week topic and continue with this because this is not, this is not, this we're is not even very... done. I think Carol, Carol has only touched on one thing. She has 10 things written. She hasn't touched any, so we'll come back. Oh. So first of all, somebody said, um, we also want to see the men we married. You know, like the men say, where is the woman I married? We too, we want to see the men we married because mm. when we married them, they, they had, small one pack is it one pack now they have 10 and they're still saying they want to see the woman they married so um it is it is a two-way thing and then somebody say hey, why only men complain i agree with you and then somebody said i also don't want to date a man with six pack just like miriam said and then someone said my body my choice someone said they go out to other women because society has let them and we have let them we have allowed the men to go out so that is why they go. If they are visual, why not treat the women? This is what someone is saying. If men are visual, and I think it's just responding to what Miriam said, yes, buy perfume and everything. So if they are visual, why don't they buy these things? Uh, these things they, they, they want to see, i.e. perfume, dresses, makeup, why don't they buy it for their wives? And then somebody said, this is Mimi, I'm sure I totally agree with Miriam. True, and you must have pride. Don't be a self-slave. Some men will mistreat you and want sex in the night, you must learn how to say no. Women learn to look after women, somebody say women, talking to women, women look, learn how to look after yourselves, even when attending to the children, little steps go a long way. Women are just yeah. nothing but, oh, seriously, I, I need to talk to this person. Women are just nothing but stepping stones for men. This is a very angry, probably a lady. And then they say they, they have grown big because it is normal. Oh, there's so many. No, no, I can't read all these things. So guys, there's so many messages. And because of this, 
all this reaction, we are coming back next week <laughs> because we are coming back next week. So guys, be prepared, be ready to come back next week. But now I want to hear from Pastor Noriet. Before you know you what? I, uh, I like everything, guys, you are contributing. I'm one woman who, when I went and the woman could tell me, oh, my husband, I said, but because you quarrel first thing on the door, you ask him, um, wapi. so me, I did all this, what they taught me back home. One, don't beat a man, don't talk back. He could come in. He starts coming early when we are in love, we are young. I, he eats 10 o'clock tea, he takes lunch. I cook all myself out. And I'm that, we wash together, go to, because I'm teaching him some other things. Not all Kenyan men also behave like they know it. So now I taught him all those things. I'm talking now the truth because I want to get you people out of that minimum of thinking it's only women to do so much. It is a two way traffic. It is a mm. love thing, it's maturity here. So I started like that. And I remember one time one woman was suffering in her marriage. She told me how he sleeps with her maid. I said, oh, how? Then he started coming late. One time he comes late. I don't have gas in the house, but I can't keep cold food. So I'll wake up and make charcoal stove at one. I sit up, we talk. I don't want to ask him where he has been because he knows where he has been. He's drunk a bit, so we sleep. I'll do what he wants. I did all those things. I, I spaced my children. I was a tic-tac woman because some women used to ask me, how long have you been married? I say eight years. They say, eh, you look like you are two years in marriage because I do it. But listen, that didn't bring it on. Mm -hmm. Do you see? I am now 61 years nearly this month coming. Hey. And, I, and he left me after a marriage of 32 years with mm. a mistake. And he said he doesn't want divorce. And he carried everything away from me. I'm not lying it. Few people knew about it. Now I'm opening up because I'm healed. It was too much. Now, can I ask a question? I lived a very good prosperous marriage for eight years because I walked into this thing called love God. And we lived so happily and we said we retire early and we went home to the village in Meru. And we stayed there two years. Then I said, no, I have my dream thing to do. Let's go back. But in me, I could, I could see strife. Then I said, I better go back one more time to, to, to seek my God and work a bit, but I'll be coming home here and there. So I chose a certain job, which was not my career. And he agreed, but he had already started the movement. And I said, you know what? If I go back to this thing at this age, it's not right. We have mature children, we have made up. I didn't see him telling me, we can stay apart because I've pregnanted some young girl and they have chased her and she has to stay home. And I said, what? Can't you look somewhere else? He said, no, you are not coming back. Me and you, we can't live now together. What hmm. did I do? No forgiveness. We have to seek God as a people, as a church. Because I even asked him, what is this I did? You cannot forgive me for the sake of my children. Secondly, to stop a curse on my own daughters. Because I'm somebody's daughter. It is God here. It is love. God is love. Mm. The love we are talking about, it is maybe a rossi, storge, filio, but not agape. Mm. Agape is what we need. Agape love. Yes. Conditional pastor, love, ask no. Just one question, Pastor. Mm, mm. What was the foundation of your marriage? Was it God? That's where, that is the thing. We started where we started in it. Erosi or stodgy love. Yeah, but the Bible says if the foundation is filthy. That is a thing. The thing. That's why I'm saying so that these things we are all talking. Mm. Yes, yes, Pastor. Your situation is for a non born again, but there are some born again that are into that started a marriage in church. And they are still doing that. And they are still behaving mm -hmm. that way. The women because, are not submissive. Because the women we, are not clean. The women do not love. care anymore. 
because of love let me tell you something if we sat down to talk about life of love you'll find out where it all sums up into because yeah. we started as uh, nanny believers we mm -hmm. ended up in believers yeah. I was ordained pastor. He yeah. was serving in with me. He was okay. We were walking with God. After yeah. I strife and, you know, I'm waiting on God to turn around the captivity of my husband. And I saw God turning him to me. And he did. But there is what they call an accuser. We, are, yeah. we have no problem with each other as humans. The mm. problem we all have, the common denominator here is Satan, is the world system. What we should all look for is how do we get out of that system to this condition which God ordained us for from the beginning so that we can even pull others who are living in that area to come in so the world can be a good place for us. But because we are looking on who did and who do, didn't, mm -hmm. that will never bring us to an answer. You Nobody know, did, neither did he, neither did I, but there is an chooser language there. We are choose too much. He accused me. I cannot choose him, but me today say no. I also did some things wrong. Mm. I'll tell you that another you know, time. There are some know, things I also didn't do right. Yeah, you know, even um, the Bible says that, yes, if the foundation is strong, it cannot be shaken. But let me tell you something. God has given us a free will. That marriage can be from day one of God. It can be of God. But if the two of us do not work on it, it will break regardless yeah. because God has given us a free will. Somebody yeah. always says that if, if that job is yours, nobody can take it away from you. Yes, they can. Yeah. Example, if God has given you a job and the, the people call you and say, you're supposed to be at that job at 10 a.m., this is a job that God has given you and nobody can take it away from you. Mm -hmm. And then because you say, oh, nobody can take it away, you end up going to the okay. interview at 11 they will take it away from you, it even away. though it's God who gave it to you. So marriage can be from God from day one. Yeah. But because yeah. the two of us are not working on it, it yeah. will go away. But we because we are God looking because... at each other, we are not looking at where this enemy is. Yes. Because that thing which happens to us must be some spiritual condition. Something mm -hmm. is somewhere, but we overlook it. And we start looking at man doing and woman doing. You are not washing. I'm not washing. I'm not this. You are not that. Then we, that's where now the enemy is laughing. The devil is laughing because he knows marriage is the foundation of the church. He yes. knows how much mm -hmm. God values marriage. Yes. He says, I hate divorce. Yes. But I, I live with this word. I, like I, I live this word. He says, if the foundations are destroyed, what mm. can the righteous do? do? Not because they were not good. They mm -hmm. are destroyed. They are destroyed. Yeah. yeah. You know, yes, Psalms I know. 11, 23. If they are destroyed, what can you do? You have to go and rebuild. That's oh. right, Pastor. You know, yesterday I was talking to one pastor yesterday. Uh, you know, I, I do insurance. I was doing one insurance for a pastor. And we started talking about it. And he said, Lydia, look, I'm a pastor. But this body is not a, a pastor first. It's a human being first. Yeah. And God has given me a beautiful wife. And I'll stay with that wife forever. I'll never divorce her. But I have to work within me. I cannot come mm. to your house. I cannot go to a house of a single woman and say, oh, I'm staying there. I'm helping her. Yeah. I'm be I'll be tempted because this mm. body is a body before it's a pastor. Mm. And if I'm tempted and I fall, because even the righteous fall, and then my wife now says, I cannot forgive you. That's the end of our marriage. So mm. as much as this marriage is of God, but I have to work on it. Oh, my yeah. wife too has to work. So all of us have to work on it. Yeah. See, so Miriam wanted to say saying. something. I wanted to say, uh, Pastor Norit pointed a very good, um, she pointed a very good thing. He said she tried, they tried, both of them, they, they did wrong, yeah? I, I would give my example. For me, I get very good people. Right now, I'm not married, I'm looking towards it, and God willingly, he will do it. But the thing is that I get very nice people, that, but there's an element called pride, yeah? Mm -hmm. When this person has, has come to a point and they have done this wrong. I am. I. I will tell them it is over. I am. In fact, I will use the name my relationship over Miriam. Over every relationship. If people are to name me, if anybody I dated was to name me, they would name me over, because I. I have this thing. I don't care. I will move. But when you continue maturing, you realize you're getting old, and when you're getting old, you realize 
oh, so now the small, small big things that you are moving for, even there are people who are facing it worse. Let's say, for example, some people will be looking for at me and thinking a man cannot cheat on me. For me, I, real, I say, if a man cheats on me, they can never come back to me. And that's what relationship, what I think I've attracted, I've attracted men who have never healed from their previous relationship. So when mm. they come to me, they come, I come as a solace. I embrace them. I, 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 I hold them and, and, and make them like they are, I'm their mother. But eventually they go now after they, we argue a bit, they now look for that first person. And when I realize it, I tell them, even I tell them from day one, if you come here, you cheat on me, I'm not coming back. I'm not looking back. And they think I'm joking. Because most men are used, if they beat a woman, if they cheat, the woman will still go back. Mm. You know, and, 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 and vice versa. But the thing is that here, as we are still talking about this uh, sex discussion, I, I wrote love is, 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 love is not sex. And 1 Corinthians 13 talks about love. People need to write that down. 1 Corinthians, love is kind. Love is is not jealous. Love, 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 love has got so many faithful everything. If you are in love, if the basis is like not pride. In, in that Psalms 11, mm. the foundation, the foundation is based on love. Like Carol said, what foundation was it? If it is based on love, it will stay longer. If it was not based on love, it will, it will people will fight. That is why you see crumble. right now. As some people are in hospital, you find if that husband, the wife, they did not marry for love. They, they will not look after them. But if they married because of love, they will be going to the hospital taking care of them. But some people, because they married, they slept with somebody, they had children, they thought, let us get married. Like I say, that tribe from Kenya, I won't mention. Most of them, they sleep with the women, they get, get them pregnant, let's move in. And when they move into the same house, now they think you are married. They start taking cows to your family. The next thing, you start seeing them looking for another woman. And the society is filled with you having a lot of children and a lot of women. And now later you come to regret this thing. What, what, what is happening to me as a person? You end up getting mad, sick, having cancer, because you're, you're not doing the, the right thing. You keep on, you need to check yourself. Everybody needs to check themselves and understand, am I in this relationship for sex, for love, for lust, for, for what? Yeah? Thank you, Lydia. Well, thank you very much. Uh, um, Florence wanted to say something. And somebody also say love is not a feeling. And this one, I totally agree with it. I always tell my children the same. Love is not a feeling. It's, it's a sacrifice. Emotional. You must sacrifice mm -hmm. because it's an emotion. And because if it's a feeling, today you wake up and I, I don't know if that happens to, to you guys, mm -hmm. but sometimes I wake up and I feel low. I feel like, ah, what's wrong? Why am I feeling like this today? Sometimes you wake up, you're over super excited and you're like why am i so excited what's going on so if love is if, if love is a feeling today you wake up and you don't like this person because they were snoring because they were farting in their sleep because they look horrible because they their hair is not done because her hair is red and i like it pink her hair is short i like it long i don't like this person then but if it's if it's um if it's a, an emotion and also a sacrifice is we have to work towards it. It's like somebody said, I want to be happy. Happiness is not, is not something that you can just say, I want to be happy. It's a process. It's a process. You have to work every day to, to maintain your happiness. It's a process. So um, Florence wanted mm -hmm. to say something. <laughs> Someone is just laughing, taking cows to your family. Yeah, go on. <laughs> okay. Florence. I'll say today I'm speaking as uh, I'm sleeping mm -hmm. as a uh, broken woman, because one thing I know for sure is not we, it's not that women should be submissive to their husband. Also, husbands should be submissive to their women, meaning that we, we are supposed to be dormant as well. And uh, I just uh, discover one thing that uh, we women we, we don't have a voice, and we let others uh, decide for us what to do. Mm. So according to all the, the, that I've had today, personally I feel so disappointed. And uh, I know, I know, and I'm hoping next week uh, we go, we, we're going to align everything and make everything straight so that women know that we need to love one another. With, uh, with, this, uh, with the rate we are going, as in we're not going anywhere. If we don't, we doesn't love one another as women, then these men will keep on fighting us, doing I for want us. I to whatever. add on that. At the end of the day, they know that. It's true. As if we are like, we are just fighting ourselves, mm. our own self. Mm. So today mm. I'm kind of heartbroken. 
No, very, don't very be. Long. Don't, don't be. be we love you. We love you. I want to add on, please, I Lydia. Think, I think being heartbroken Lydia. is not the best thing, uh, Lydia. No, you are not broken. We are correcting each other. Yeah. And we we are talking we love about you. situations where someone can come and say, "Oh, I think I have I make that mistake," and they can change. Yeah. It's not person. It's not a personal thing here. Yes. Yeah. Can I we add on? We are rubbing each other mm. and we are pulling mm. each other out of the hole. Yes. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. There's a Father. woman out there that is doing this mistake mm. that is about to do it. There's somebody out there that has done it and is about mm. to lose a marriage. Mm. There's someone who is mm. about to fall into that pit. They're going to come out. It's not yeah. about a person, one person. Mm. Can I say something for the sake of my sister, my daughter? Um, you are all my daughters, by the way. My daughter, Florence. <laughs> I want to say something. You know, I've been into this place where I gather women to know to love. If a situation is going to be solved in the whole world is when a woman loves another woman. True. If you love me, you will not come to my husband. The girl who took my marriage came to work in my shop and she ends up wanting the shop <gasps> and wanting everything. So now I want to tell you something to encourage you. I am crying out for women to love one another, not to jealous one another, not to see my bedroom and you say, oh, I would be the one sleeping there. It was my beddings, it was my car, it was my house and she wanted everything. And I told my husband, give me back my things so that she can stay. She, he couldn't because he knew also that is his catch. But let me tell you, she can also take a blame. I feared for her mother. I said, can't he see? Can't she see? She's breaking up her home. She's a woman. She's bringing a curse upon her own children. We will make the world better if women are going to esteem one another, knowing we are one. There is no difference. If I'm doing wrong, come and tell me my wrong. But a woman will have a problem. When you see me putting on something and I come to your party maybe I came from the market and you said you have a pet I love you I branch in you see I'm not well dressed take me to your bedroom change my clothes and bring me to enjoy with you guys on a shower bridal don't gossip but we are into we are the ones who started the discomfort of our homes and we are the ones who are going to rectify it that's why we're on this mm. forum we are going to make it back through the name of Jesus. The power of the blood is here. He died for us. When I read the word today, I was thinking about this forum. I said, I don't want to go there as a pastor. I am, I've been what she said. I've been in hurting five years ago. I couldn't talk to anybody. Mm -hmm. Now I can open up. I can even say a place where I came. I can even talk. And I hate nobody. I forgave from the bottom of my heart. I felt so sorry. I saw the picture of the girl who was born in my heart and I cried. I said, this girl is born into trouble because she came into something she didn't know. And the, the man is 60 years over and he's marrying a 20 something year. What is going to happen to the child? I felt it, but I knew one thing, it is hatred for one another. If that girl loved me, she would have just worked mm. and not take the man. We work against, let's fight that. Let's go to God and say, God, forgive our misunderstanding of your love because mm. love begins in me and I overflow out to another. You can't give what you don't have. The exactly. only way we are going to magnet to be a magnet to the so to the world is when we have the source drinking from it, full of it, and then we we can magnet, we can pull another, and then yeah. we can put men in the right place. Mm. Yeah, somebody um, ah, just to read your few, right. yeah, just to read few statements. Somebody say, I don't know who they are they are talking to, but probably just like Miriam said, somebody probably salivating out there liking one of us, I don't know who. The person said, I wish I knew you when you were still young. To be honest, you were the right person for me. <laughs> I don't know who the person is talking to. Probably Pastor Noriet. And someone I'm said, so young. much. Amen. <laughs> so much hypocrisy in marriage. Mm -hmm. Somebody said, thank you so much, Pastor, for being open and transparent. God bless you. Thank mm -hmm. you. Spiritual aspect in marriage is not spoken about enough. Evil covenants against our marriages break homes. Women wake up and pray, 100% correct. Yes. And exactly when I was talking to the pastor yesterday, again, going back, he said, when in his church, he doesn't allow women to come and talk to him. He said, talk to my wife. 
because mm. that's where everything starts and that is spiritual as well yes and mm. then he said love is not a feeling yes we say that already and i completely agree with you florence i feel so mad about some of the statements i've had today but oh i'm also happy that we are having this conversation so it's about teaching ourselves it's about rubbing shoulders just like carol said we are teaching ourselves and rubbing to each other's shoulder mm. and pastor that's where we women go wrong thank you tell me my mistake correct me none, none is perfect yeah. Mm -hmm. And then somebody say, please, mommy, correct me if I am wrong. But is, is it not a man's responsibility to respect his matrimonial home? Uh, yes. Because a lot yes. of men do lie a lot to those women, which is true. I totally agree with that. Because a man will lie. So a woman doesn't know if the man is lying or telling the truth. Mm. Sometimes we women are our, our own enemies. We need mm. to learn and support and lift each other up. Mm. That is mm. true. Somebody said this topic needs not to end, but we're actually running out of time because we always just have two hours. And to, like please. I said, we are going to continue again next week. But I just want to correct something as well. I 100% understand where Carol was coming from because this topic today was about women. It wasn't about mm. marriage. It was mm. about women. So just for Florence as well, for Florence's sake. It was about women. So it's us, we are trying to, because she was talking about entering into a marriage. So we are also trying to teach our own women on how to behave. And like uh, Pastor Noreta say, say, she did everything, but the man still decided to walk. Mm -hmm. So if the man decides to walk tomorrow, at least you can carry your hand and say, you know what, I did A, B, C, D. I, did I do that, every, yes. So if the yes. man decided to walk, sure. that is his own problem. Like Miriam said, he has an issue. Okay, so it's not about oh, blaming a woman or anything. We're not blaming women, but we just, we're just here trying to teach women as well how to behave or how to carry themselves. That is where it comes like a lifestyle of maturity. And mm -hmm. I think next week when we're here, we are going to take men totally out of this equation. <laughs> and we're just going to and talk about women. Women thing to love, We're only going yeah. to talk about the women, how a yeah. woman should carry themselves, how women yeah. should behave, even if the woman is married, what you yeah. should do. Because yes, it's true. When women get married, it's totally true. When women get married, they totally forget themselves. Okay. Yeah. I was speaking to someone who was telling me that a man, and I was so angry with this man to be honest because i hate when men do that i hate when men try to put women down but it's because sometimes we put ourselves down mm -hmm. so the women will put us down the man was like yeah when I, I was dating this girl she's sleeping with her wig or whatever and then all of a sudden she's now putting stockings at night why could she put stockings from the beginning and i was like so do you expect her to sleep with her wig and she said yeah but why did she do it from the beginning mm -hmm. okay so i think there are some things we should do from day one if you know that like, I'm going to mm -hmm. sleep with, I have short hair. I don't care. You love me with my short hair. I'm not going to wear a wig for you to please you. I know people have told me, oh, Lydia, I, I, I want to see with long hair. I say, no, I am not going to wear no long hair. This is my hairstyle and I like mm -hmm. it. But if I do it for him mm -hmm. and I wear long hair and then tomorrow I don't have the long hair, problem starts. So from day one, it's, it's about us helping and teaching. Just let's see this forum as you're talking to your girls, you're talking to your girl, eh, 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 um, encouraging your girls, the girl, the darling, when you're older from the beginning, there's body politics from day one. That's we teach our children body politics from day one. As they grow up, we now talk, talk to them about sex. As they grow up, we talk to them about lifestyle and maturity. As they grow up now, that time of marriage, we talk to them about when you're entering marriage. So it's all about talking to our women. Because let me tell you, marriage has no book. It has mm. no constitution. It has yeah. no format. It has no style. You mm. see somebody like Pastor no, uh, uh, Noriet. She did everything. The man still went. We have some marriages where the girl does not even do anything. The man is still there. The man is not <laughs> And you're thinking, look at this woman, the way she treats the man, the way she talks to him. And the man is still there. And the man doesn't even cheat. The man is there. So this marriage thing has no style. Mm -hmm. It has no, it doesn't work. What works for me will never work for someone else. Yeah. You understand? Because yeah. even me, I tried all those submission. I tried everything. I tried everything. And don't forget, I, I didn't say I was good 100%. As we went growing, I got worn out on doing the things which are good. I could also now try to stand in a bit. I remember the first time I slapped him, his sister said, oh, she took long, 18 years before she slaps you. Because I got scared, I beat a man. They were teaching me, you never return. Eh? 
<laughs> he could beat me any way he wanted. But what I saw here is that by the time I become that person you don't want and you say I talk too much or I am shouting to you, or, me, I, I used not to even know how to talk back because then one day I will say, he will say you're abusing me because he wants to silence you. Yes. Like I ask, I say, who has been sleeping in this house? Because I went home after like a month and I find things for wash, 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 vessel, washing towels are different. G-strings. You find mm. G-strings. Yes, then I said, <laughs> what, what, no, what, is, what is happening? But I kept quiet that night, imagine, and I stayed in the bed. But then in the next day, he didn't come back because he was asking me to meet the girl because I employed somebody, he took her out, he brought somebody else. I said, no, I don't want that one you employed. My spirit told me, don't go, you'll have it rough. So I took away the keys. I went to do the stock taking. I found something, I was doing bridles. I found some bright grounds are not there. I asked him properly, ah, those grounds which are not there, can I have them back? But do you know what he told, what, what I did wrong, which I'll tell you that that's where I made it wrong because I used my mouth because the Holy Spirit also says, be wise. But I opened my mouth and I asked a question. I said, please, next time, the way I'm going back to UK for a few weeks and then I, because I wanted to work six weeks, go home three weeks like that. Can we not use this bedroom? This is my, my marriage honorable bed. Even if you feel you need someone, do it somewhere else, even in another room, not on my bed. I was trying to be polite. That's where we <laughs> broke it. Now, can you see where we can't put it on? Women don't, women do. We have some wrong the way we force things, but what we need is us loving us first before we think loving men. So that when another woman tells you her problem, don't gossip it and say she was also wrong. You don't yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. You know, Listen, I'm you just know, saying. Is very right. Pastor is very right. You I, know? I'll add something. Florence was saying that women, uh, no, his, Florence was saying that she's not happy about what we are discussing. Uh, what we, she, there were some things that were not making her happy. And mm. she said the same way women submit, men have to. Florence, to correct you, it is biblical. It is only women who are supposed to submit. Men are supposed to love. And now the society has taken it round that we are yeah. loving the men and then mm -hmm. they are submitting. Mm -hmm. You know, we are using, we are not using, and remember the, the world, whether you are born again or not, it is mm -hmm. based about the Bible. It is around mm -hmm. the Bible. So mm -hmm. the problem with women, the problem with women is that women are, 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 are going to love. And even that love, they don't even know it. They think to buy a man clothes is love. They think to yeah. sleep with him is love. They think to yeah. cook for him is love. There's so much mm. when you go beyond love. People need to love understand is what spirit. Is. Women, mm. love is women, a spirit. you need to do your mm. part. Like Pastor mm. Norit said, you need to do your part. Love yourself, clean yourself well, whatever. But I for always you. Know, and I will tell women, this life, everybody has got their own. Whether the man took you, somebody side chick or what. Everybody has got their own. You play your part, play your mm -hmm. good part, be a good person. Yeah. Don't ever be a bad person because somebody cheated on you, somebody mm -hmm. ha hated you, somebody loved somebody else. Play your part. The day that they will walk you down the aisle, you will wonder. I will I'll give a, a testimony then, I'll, I'll, I'll close, close off on my side. A lady in, from Uganda, when I used to go to travel to Uganda for ministry, the lady will clean my shoes. She will cook for us. I'm telling you, Lydia, if I show you that lady on Facebook, a wedding last month, our whole family was shaking. She's an orphan. My sister paid for her ticket to come to Kenya to stay. She slept on the same bed with my mom and she was crying the following day praying. She has never experienced such a love from, the, from my family. That lady got married to the best man. If you looked at that wedding, it was like a million dollars. Remember, she wiped my shoes in Uganda. She cleaned my shoe. Who am I for her to clean my shoe, to cook for me? And yet, yeah. look at the kind of man she got. She was yeah. abused by a lot, but now she's a happy girl. She's, she's married to the best man who loved her. So let us wait. Everybody has got their own, own mm. person, yeah. and, and everybody yeah. has got their own love. Don't mm. give up. Whether you're widowed, whether you're, 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 your husband mm. is not loving you, God can correct things. But women, Go clean up, 
go dress up, go wash and just be yeah, good. The next true. thing, if, if that you. man doesn't behave, God will remove them and vice versa. I've closed mm. on my business. Yeah. God bless you. And please, I am not accusing anybody. I was giving example. That's why it took me time. I didn't come in to say all this, but because time allowed and also the situation, the environment, yeah. there is one point. Nobody deserves hell. There is much grace. Grace is the blood of Jesus. Mm. It will reach out for even those broken marriages. It will reach out for those who hurt us. It will reach out for me. It will reach out for you. The grace is what is there now because it's the strong tower upon the law. The law can tell you until you do this, you this, but we have no more sin. The sting of sin was taken away because of the blood of Jesus. And we pray for all those who hurt us. We, in fact, speaking about them, God knows that I spoke to illustrate something, but my love is so much for that family. Yeah. I love them. I healed to say the truth because they may hear this is a forum. I healed so much. In fact, I thank God for my husband. If it was not for him, I wouldn't have met Jesus. Mm. So I thank God for him. God uses people. Yeah. David, like Satan I'm too. Glad I was afflicted. Mm. Yes. So I'm so happy. I'm, I'm thankful. I'm blessing that girl. I started, I didn't know I would do it. It was not easy the first time because I was trying to put sense in him to understand we, you can do what you did, but I'm still here. But he didn't want me there. And I thought, oh God, you are doing a wrong thing. I need to be there. I don't need to be out. I'm old. I'm this. But as I speak, I have a home and he can come if he wants. He may not come as a husband in bed, but we are friends. We once knew each other. We have children together. God mm. is doing so much. In my, I mean, I love him with the love of God because mm. he, I worked out my salvation in that home. Yeah. And I'm still born again. I stood even what happened couldn't crush me, even though it meant to crush me in my mm. age and my, but yeah. I am here, I am alive and every woman should take their stand. The problem is seek ye kingdom. The kingdom is love, peace, joy. Yeah. Mm. Mm. That's Amen. the foundation which was destroyed. And that's why I couldn't do anything, even if I was the righteous of God. Mm -hmm. But now mm -hmm. I am on the kingdom seeking. I'm founded on the ground. I know I'm forgiven. I'm the beloved. So is you and me. So we stand again as women and call upon, which would be an intercession for the whole family of the, of the world. God mm -hmm. loves the whole world. God loves everybody. May God bless you. Amen. Thank you. Lydia, Thank you very Lydia, much. Before you finish, Lydia, mm. can we pray before you finish? Yeah. 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 Of course. Of course. But mm. let's. Uh, we we've not finished yet. So we're coming back next week again. We have um, ten minutes. We are coming mm. back next week. So guys, get ready. Flores, oh. get ready with the lights and the. <laughs> tell those people <laughs> to spare you next week, please. Amen. On Saturday Sorry. next week, the same time. Uh, Kenyan time is 8 p.m. I don't know if it's... We we'll love you, Florence. <laughs> love you. Tomorrow is love you, Florence. I love all of you. You have given yes. me an experience. <laughs> you have given me a release. You know, this is like a widow who released the oil. It's when you release, when you get the vessels, then more comes out. Mm. Yes, no, so no. next time Just it will be it. more vessels, <laughs> more oil, more vessels, more oil will come out. Amen. We all have oil. We Amen. all have Amen. something Amen. to release. No, yeah. the feminist in me doesn't allow me to speak ill of women. So I just love women that much. That's why. But anyway, guys, I hope to see you next week. <laughs> yeah, so um, let Florence, me go. Let me just. I, we love you, darling. We love you, Florence. <laughs> let's, let's, I'll just read some things people say here. But before I read this, I just want to say, just going back, you are not defined by what people do to you. Yes. You're only defined by what you do. You're defined by your own actions, not yeah. because the father of my children did this to me. Now I'm doing it to mm -hmm. someone else. And then that's I start right. using excuse because, because you're only defined by what you do. And that's yeah. why I even tell my children, you see, sometimes when you're driving for people who drive, you, you cross the red light and then someone behind you too wants to cross police, catch them. 
They can't say I did it because the car in front of me did it. That's true. And it is always the person who copies the other person is the one who always yes. get caught. Mm -hmm. And then you cannot say I did it because. So you're only defined by your own actions. And that yeah. is why we go back to women and say, women, you do your part. And yeah. I know someone, somebody also have said, how can you submit when the man don't love you? Going back again, you're not submitting for the man mm -mm. because you're defined by your own actions. Submit mm -hmm. for your own self. And I think this word submission has been misunderstood and misplaced. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Submission does not mean you're a slave. Submission mm -hmm. does not mean when he says jump, you ask how high. That is not the meaning of submission. And like Miriam said, the Bible says women submit and men love. A lot of the times, probably 80%, men don't even love. Yeah. So a woman will sit there and say, if a man is not loving me, why should I submit? But now we should go back and read the law, the law of attraction. Mm. Guys, I will mm. add you, everybody on Facebook and even on the Zoom, go and read the law of attraction. If you read the law of attraction, you will forget about what the next person is doing and just do you. Mm -hmm. So do you in submission. Do you in looking nice, dressing nice, it's you. You're not doing it for the man. I dress mm -hmm. nice and I don't dress nice because somebody's going to see me. Sometimes I'm by myself no. in the office, but I dress so nice and I'm in by myself in the office and I'm thinking, wow, I'm looking so good. My shoe, everything flick. I'm not doing it for anybody else. I'm doing it for mm. me. <laughs> so if you submit, you submit it for you, not for, for, for anybody else. Okay. That's true. And that is what I wanted to say. And somebody also read, we should, okay, somebody said, we should stop using faith to cover up abuse on women. Yeah, we should, uh, Pastor, I want you to respond to that, please. Mm -hmm. I am not using faith at all to cover faith. I don't that... think the person was uh, was directing it to you, Pastor. To you. No, no, no. Oh. Yeah, not the person is not. No, 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 no. It's nothing. It's nothing wrong with that because you know we in faith we grow from glory to glory. It's a grace making us grow. We are not all born again today, and you know everything tomorrow. No, we walk in faith. Just keep the faith, and you keep walking like what you have just said. That just do you. If we had love for you, you would know how to love you. Mm. the other one mm. because that's where we all went wrong the whole world was in a mess because of that what mm. what miriam said he said that women love men he said i read it today in the book of genesis 2 it is when god said to a wife you will go after like you love your husband so much because of what you've done. And now from that Old Testament, we come to the New Testament where now Jesus turns things around. It's all me, the love I brought, the love you walk in, it brings you everything in one particle. And mm. Paul says it, that like Jesus loves the church, so is the man to love now it turns over wife. because we have been saved now from yes. trauma so we are mm -hmm. no more the people who love men we are the mm -hmm. people who submit while a man is doing the love but there's one problem there is no submission without love mm -hmm. so god mm -hmm. loved the world he had to come to love us back mm -hmm. then we are submitting mm. so we can only submit where love is mm -hmm. so this love must come it's a it's, it's a it's a it's, it's a river we must drink on we must go there it is in christ jesus if you accept him sometimes is how you got born again we got born again in many different ways but now the, we god is so near us now it's so easy it's not religious it's not a practical thing you have to do it i have to see it is in you with you, for you, is a spirit. God is a spirit. Love is a spirit. Mm -hmm. The same way you feel when you're falling in love, you don't sleep because tomorrow you have a debt. That's the same way we would feel knowing alone that God, like now you can't take me away from the love of God. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean I can't, but I feel satisfied. Mm -hmm. I just feel, I can't even try it because I gave man my heart, it was broken. Now I give it to the right person, he has mended it. I've yes. come out of many, a man, I'm just continually being beautified. Sometimes I really love where he has put me and I say, wow, I'm in the best place ever. 
Mm. But that doesn't take me away from the love of his people. What God loves, I love. So I mm. have no hatred and I'm fighting it every day. I hate to hate. When I've done something like you have annoyed me, I don't sleep the whole night. I look of how are we going to make it back? Because mm. I have to make it back. It's the pain to return to a mm. sacrifice. That's mm. what I think that person said. That's not, you know, faith. It's a sacrifice. Because mm -hmm. you fear, where you feel people laugh, what will people say, what will people think, that's where the pain is. Mm -hmm. You want to do what uh, the majority will say you are okay, but that okay is from another side. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. you are not okay to do what is wrong, calling it right. Mm -hmm. right. Thank you. Thank mm -hmm. you so much. And just like uh, somebody said, I hate that word submission. Yes, it's because people have mis mis misinterpreted the word submission, it's misplaced it, they misused it, because she said that women are being beaten every day, and mm -hmm. there's a woman being beaten every day, and she keeps saying she's, she must submit. If you're being beaten by your husband, domestic violence, anything, that is not submission. Mm -hmm. If you're being abused, either sexually, financially, Ultimately. emotionally, physically, it is not submission because the bible mm -hmm. says like in the first corinthians just like miriam said before it is love the bible says love your wife women submit to your husbands so if you don't love if you love somebody you cannot hurt them beating somebody is hurting them so that means you don't love that person if you love somebody you cannot make them cry if you love somebody you cannot starve them if you love mm. somebody you cannot abuse them the, if, regardless of where the abuse is either it's emotionally physically you cannot abuse them you cannot take them for granted you cannot do something and going back to the body politics and touching her the way you want or having sex with mm. her and she doesn't even agree and you say you love them you have to love your wife for your wife to submit so women yes. look at that word submission do mm. not allow anybody to 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 um mm. constitute you in thinking that no 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 you only if you do this you're submitting no 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 that is no submission oh. being abused is no submission oh. so do not sit down there but I can say, if we look at the word submission and you know how to use it, you will submit to your husband because your husband too yes. have to yes. love you because we have to walk. Mm. But there's mm. no, when it comes to somebody being beaten, that's another topic that we'll have another day. Domestic violence is another topic mm. we had last time and oh. we'll have it another day. Also, but I'll leave time, you with this, just this. Uh, Paul said, if a nanny believer wants to go, you let them go. Let them go. The reason I let my husband go is because he didn't believe we are married. Mm. Mm. That's the nanny believer. Because if you believe you are married, you are married. You're married. You have to go. Exactly. <laughs> And so I let him go because and he pastor, didn't even need so I can't push it. Yeah. And Pastor, I think you'll agree with me, with everybody here. Mm -hmm. Disappointment is always a blessing in disguise. Amen. So Indeed. do not feel like what you people say, what people do not pay your rent. When mm -mm. you're dead in that grave, those people will not look after your children. Mm -mm. Don't mm. worry about what people say. Don't worry about what the society or the community will say. Don't worry about what your parents will say. This is mm. your life. Leave it well. I always say, so I'll leave you with this. And mm. guys, share this. Please, we still have a lot of people on Facebook. Share, share, and share, and share. And we're coming back next week again. Florence, please be here on time. Carol, be here on time. Miriam, be here on time. Pastor Noriet, be here on time. Lydia, the host, be here on time. And everybody else, free. be here on time. So it's next free. week, we are coming mm. back here again. Guys, don't go anywhere. So we mm. only have four minutes. So Just we are to going to pray, pray we, before so we much pray. love next week. So much yes, hot ones are coming so up much. and advice. Oh, yes. Yes. Ladies, go Father, we to... thank you. Mm. Let's not forget to thank the Lord to allow us to come and minister to us. He has ministered to us. He's the Holy Spirit himself speaking, nobody else. We are in his presence. Father, we thank but you for this forum. Just, pray, just yeah. pray for healing for, for, for both women and men, yeah? Because um, mm. people are hurting, are hurting, and that's why I they know. keep on hurting. They, they will get, the blood that. is that's there it. to do it. The blood is here. The blood yeah. of Jesus. He says where two or three gather, there he is. He's mm. already here. He has been with us ever since we started. And now we are closing up. And he has given us the grace to minister. He has given us the, 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 the ready 
tongue writer, the, our tongue has spoken because he speaks and we are speaking mm -hmm. healing to anybody. Anybody, this forum has spoken a word you didn't feel comfortable with. This healing of mm -hmm. our Lord Jesus is reaching in your heart. He is the healer, not us. But because we are in him and he is in us, he has given us power to be called the children of God. And because of that, the sonship we have with him, all of us, not because you don't know him, God loves you. God wants you to know that he loves you. So we are speaking his love in your heart. Let his love embrace you. Let his love reach out beyond where we can touch. Let it reach in every area, teaching, showing you, and even moving you from pain. Where there is an abuse, Father, we command that Lord, you'll open the eyes of those who are hurting others and even those who are being hurt where it cannot be dealt with in human or in, in the spirit which you are commanding Father they will find a way out nobody should stay in pain where Jesus is you said mm. you came to save the lost and to heal the wounded and even to bind those wounds and to get our broken hearts together so be so in everybody who is hearing under my voice in the name of Jesus we thank you father we are so grateful we embrace this day because this is the beginning of healing the church taking us to a place how everyone taking their di the destination to fulfill that which you made us to be in this planet earth we thank you father we are not forgetting to pray for the whole world whatever is covering the earth the powers of principalities and darkness which are bringing emotional problems, even mental tortures because of COVID. We denounce him and he knows it. He has no mm. room and he is powerless because mm. you already died on the cross for mm. the world to be free. Mm. Until yes. the gospel reaches the ends of the world, mm. then he has something to do in us, but he has no power to do nothing. We cease to die as children of God. We cease to be sick. We pray mm. for every country tormented. We are covering the blood of Jesus over mm. all the doctors, over the hospitals, over mm. the homes which are worried. We speak fear mm. away from the church. Yes, fear yes. not, because we are the solution to mm. the world. Yes, Father, yes. we thank you. We thank you. We fear not because the Lord is with us. Amen. We cover ourselves in the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Lydia, Amen. Lydia if there is men out there, as we are having our talk, what I was suggesting uh, to Anthony Mutaki, I told him, please also men, have your forum to discuss about men issues because men don't talk. Yes. And you find it's escalating. Mm -hmm. They need to. They need to have a, a, a forum to speak about issues and help to heal one another. Because yes. if we do that, they, like Pastor Noria prayed, the church, the society is going to be healed, and mm -hmm. we are all going to come together and be one good, good thing. So mm -hmm. I, I bless God for all of you. And next time when we meet, I know you will have gotten husbands to get married to, or for those who are or. <laughs> Whatever I know, right did now you, there are people looking at you. Did you read Matthew that. 19? Some were made Enochs for the sake of the gospel. Amen. Amen. Me. Amen. So I am happy, Miriam. Amen. <laughs> Until he speaks. Yeah, do not say, Lydia, do not say amen. You better return your amen because just you are saying it. amen. Pastor, not only 51. You're only your for you just pause back do, because that word can come and you start preaching the gospel so if you don't want that but who so told you, you 61 i'm not going anywhere i can go with a 70 no. year old no, Amen. you no, told us love, love is not sex we don't we don't need old. sex we need love yes. pastor you'll be surprised so, to get a 40 year old marry you <laughs> guys you know we're done I'll, I'll see you guys. guys i'll see you guys next week <laughs> Florence, thank you very much, Florence, for coming. God thank you. So you. Much, thank Pastor. you for inviting me. And men are coming thank home you. next week because now you said you're available. Uh, yeah. Me, I'm available and single by no searching. Please, thank you very much, everybody. <laughs> yeah, me, me, we, we need the inner feeling. Thank we you. need the inner feeling. God bless okay. you. Okay, thank you. Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Thank you. Bless you. Bless you, Carol. <laughs> nice to see you. At World Remit, we understand what the journey is about, how it can sometimes take a little distance, 
to bring us a little closer together. With ways to save more when you send more, World Remit is here for you, so you can be there for them.